RDF is a way of structuring information on the web. The cool thing about it is when things are marked up in RDF, you can pull information from other websites and treat all that information like it was in your own database. By default, when you download and install Drupal 7, your posts will be marked up with RDF. So will the tags on those posts, the comments on those posts, and the users that posted the comments. So let's take a look at an application that you could build with this kind of data. Like a feed reader that could help you make sense of all the different feeds that you're subscribed to. This feed reader could pull in posts from RDF-enabled sites all over the web. With a feed reader like this, you could take a quick look at all of the day's posts and see what the most important topics of the day are. Because the number of comments is marked up with RDF, you can sort all of these posts by how many comments they have. And because all of the users that are posting these comments are also marked up, you could create lists of people that you want to follow and see which posts in your feed these users are commenting on. This one looks pretty interesting. Let's check it out. And it's not just this post and comment information that can be marked up with RDF. In addition to that default RDF, it's easy for developers to add RDF to their modules markup. And if site administrators want, they can customize this RDF too. For instance, if you have a store, you want, might want to have your products marked up with RDF, including the product description and the price. This would give you the added benefit of showing up as enriched search results in both Yahoo and Google. Enriched search results bring some information from the page up into the search result itself. Yahoo has found that pages with these enriched search results see a 15% increase in the number of click-throughs. So adding RDF to your pages can be good for business. Or if you run an organization and have different people affiliated with your organization, instead of maintaining their contact and bio information on your site, you could just link to their personal profile on their website and pull in the information directly from their site so that you don't have to update and maintain it. This would mean that if something changed on their personal site, it would also update on your site. So in the case of an alumnus, you could have an up-to-date record of where that person is, what their current position is, and their most up-to-date bio. So that's what RDF does. It turns the web into your database and makes it easier for you to share your information with the rest of the world.